Rabbits are the world's third most kept pet. Despite their popularity, there are still huge gaps in scientific research surrounding the behaviour and cognition of pet rabbits. Sadly, many of the studies available on rabbit behaviour are mostly done on laboratory rabbits. That's housing and welfare differs greatly from that of a pet. Luckily, this is slowly starting to change, with the more people becoming fascinated by our furry friends. The more behavioural studies are being undertaken to help us understand our rabbits a little better, and in turn improve their welfare. As, if we can truly understand a species, we have a better chance of optimising their welfare by being able to provide them with what they truly need. With that said, I wanted to explore what scientific evidence is out there and compare it with my own personal experience of owning rabbits and studying them to help open up the conversation and determine if rabbits miss their owners when we are gone. Alex, the boy's bun dad, has been gone for over a week now and the boys have been really agitated, clingy and a bit naughty since he's been away. Rabbits often form deep bonds with their humans that once made are extremely hard to break. If your rabbits trust you and like spending time with you, there is a very real chance your bunnies miss you when you're not there. As previously mentioned, rabbits love routine. This is mainly down to them being a prey species. They like a good amount of predictability about their environment and the people or animals around them. As in the wild, this would give them a better chance of survival. If a rabbit's routine is disturbed, they can become very upset. If you are gone during important times in their routine, such as dinner time, they will definitely notice you're not there. Rabbits have a great memory for things and people that are emotionally significant to them. In other words, if you and your rabbit spend a lot of time together and are very close, they will remember you for life, as you will be stored in their long-term memory. If your rabbit has a positive emotional connection to you, when you are gone, they'll probably look for you and miss you a great deal. A strong emotional connection can be positive or negative. Rabbits will equally, if not more, remember negative experiences. This is true of humans and most species too, as our brain is wired to remember unpleasant stuff and lock it in our memory as a form of protection, so we know to avoid it again in the future. Rabbits are also very good at remembering and noticing reoccurring chains of events and knowing the outcome, such as when you're about to leave for work. Many animals, such as dogs and cats, are very good at this too, and pretty much any pet. In animal training and behaviour, this is called chaining forwards. This technique of learning is actually used in reverse when training service animals, and is called chaining backwards. But that's a whole other topic. Rabbits will notice us getting together our stuff, having work clothes on that we don't usually wear around the house, picking up our keys, putting on our shoes, and other chain of events that ultimately lead to us leaving the house, or another outcome that they either find desirable or undesirable. There are certain ways you can help your rabbits feel less alone when you leave the house. And the biggest one by far is if you have a single bun, by getting them a companion. Regardless of if you're home a lot or not, I think it's so important to house your rabbit in compatible pairs, so they have a companion of the same species. There are countless studies that show how important having another companion of the same species is for a rabbit. Not only do they provide each other with essential company, but by housing your rabbit with a compatible companion can even increase their life expectancy by reducing reoccurring stress that can cause a host of health issues. Rabbits are an extremely social species. Being left completely alone is completely unnatural for them. Rabbits are also a prey species that are innately always on the lookout for predators. In the wild, they work together and warn each other about oncoming threats, so they don't have to be constantly alert. When they are housed alone, they constantly have to be on the lookout, as they have no one else to do it for them, which can cause a lot of stress. There are so many other important factors to why you should house your rabbits in pairs but we won't get into that just yet. And I understand that some bunnies are overly aggressive or have past experience that make them unable to be bonded. Every bunny can differ greatly, depending on their temperament and life experiences. 
but generally most healthy and neutered bunnies should have a companion to live with. And this can dramatically help reduce the stress of you leaving for work or leaving the house for extended periods of time. Other ways you can help your bunny feel more secure, especially if you're going on holiday, is by giving them a jumper or item of clothing that smells of you, providing your rabbit won't chew and ingest it. If your bunny has a history of eating clothing, I'd probably sit this one out. But as Alex is away for two weeks, I gave the boys one of his t-shirts to lay with, and Alice has laid with it every day since he's been away. Especially around times he would usually play and cuddle them, or around the time he would usually get home from work. Jasper, since Alex has been away, he's been noticeably upset and a little distressed, which is understandable as his routine has been disturbed. He's also been throwing around Alex's shoes that are still here and hitting them before thumping and running off. Alex being away hasn't just caused them to misbehave. They both have also been extremely clingy with me. They've been following me everywhere and they've been competing much more for my attention. It is clear that Alex not being here has definitely affected both of the boys' behaviour. And my conclusion is it's because they miss him very much. Without extensive behavioural studies and cognitive tests, such as brain scanning, we can't say this is statistically significant. Enough evidence for us to state that rabbits definitely experience this emotion, especially not in the same way that humans do. But I definitely believe rabbits really do miss us when we're not there, and are capable of a lot more cognitively than we are aware of yet, or that has been proven. I look forward to further studies, and maybe even running a few studies myself, to further our understanding on this amazing species, and ultimately improve their welfare. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and drop a comment of what you think your bunny does when you leave the house. We'll see you next time. Bye!